Hey, this is Lance with Nissan of Cookville, and this is the 2024 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum four-wheel drive. Coming around to the front here, you have your front sonar across that front bumper, your LED daytime running lights and LED headlights. In the middle of this V-Motion grille here, right below that Nissan emblem, is your front camera location that works in conjunction to the cameras on each outside mirror, as well as your backup camera to give you that intelligent all-around view monitoring system. With the Platinum, you get these beautiful 20-inch alloy wheels. This particular one has Bridgestone tires on it. On your outside mirror locations, you have the painted body color matching skull cap there. The turn signal indicator bulb and that outside mirror location is right there. This particular one, as you can see, is that gun metallic exterior color, but has that beautiful quilted leather chestnut interior color as well. Coming down the passenger side now, and around to the rear lift gate and back bumper. It comes with the receiver hitch and a wiring harness. It's a seven pin wiring harness. And with it being a platinum, it automatically comes with your transmission and your engine cooler that takes your factory towing capacity from the 3,500 to 6,000 pounds. You also have your rear sonar system across that back bumper and your nice clear HD backup camera is right there. It is a motion activated lift gate. You also have a button right here that will lift it up as well, as well as on your key fob. And then there's also a button near the driver's side, uh, side of the vehicle. With the third row seat folded down, you have 84 cubic feet of storage room. And you can see with that third row seat up, just how much storage room you have left back here for groceries and luggage. Cool thing about that is also, is this area lifts up here and you have your cargo dividers here that are easily slidable. Just pop those right out. Behind this plate here is all your spare tire accessories. And then you twist this off and that's how you have access to that spare tire to drop it from underneath the vehicle. You also have a cargo net here as well as a first aid kit. Your third row passengers will have two cup holders on each side as well as their own USB charging port. And because it's a tri-zone climate control vehicle, all rear passenger air vents are built into the headboard. This button here will close this lift gate up, but it'll also set the height of it. So if you have a carport or a garage door that you're worried about this lift gate hitting when it opens, just press and hold it till it beeps like so. And now we'll open just to that height that you set it at. If you hit this button there, not only will it close it, but it'll also securely lock the rest of the vehicle for you. Coming down the driver's side, just want to point out, is a capless fuel filler. There's no button up front. You just walk up to it, push in on it, it'll pop it open, and then just push it closed. All four door handles will have these three lines right here. Just a capacitive touch intelligent key system. As long as you have that key on your person or uh, in a bag near you, it'll allow you to unlock and lock the doors individually. Your rear passenger doors have these sun shades built into them. You also have your two cup holders here and a bottle holder down here. And you can see just how well this quilted leather chestnut interior combines with this gun metal exterior color. It's one of my favorite color combinations that Nissan offers right now. This particular one is the captain's chairs package. So you can see the second row is captain's chairs instead of the bench seat. And you have this nice center console that is removable. Remove that faceplate, lift up on that handle right there. And now you have a nice passageway for your third row passengers. But just as easily as it removable, it is to put right back in place. Just snap everything right back in. I mentioned earlier that it was a tri-zone climate control vehicle. All your rear passenger air vent controls are right back here and your second row seats are heated as well. You have two USB charging ports up here as well as a 12 volt outlet. And it does have a dual panoramic moonroof that will all open up for you here in just a second. Now, if you need extra cargo room, lift up on this lever here and it gives you a flat surface from the back lift gate to the back of the front two seats here. If you need access to that third row seating, hit this button right here and it will lift up like so. And you also have a button on the back side here. If you need leg room for your third row passengers, there's a handle here to slide those captain's chairs forward and back.
opening the driver's side door now. You do have power folding outside mirrors. Your driver's seat's a two-way memory driver's seat with lumbar support. All your power windows, locks, and mirror controls are here. That power liftgate option is right there. Take a look on the interior. In. And your steering wheel is a fully powered telescoping steering wheel. Go ahead and climb in here. Start it up. I mentioned that dual panoramic moonroof. The controls for it are right up here. Thing I always like to point out about it is your second row passengers have a nice clear view of the sky above. It does have Nissan connected services. You have a sunglass holder and these three buttons right here are Nissan home link to where you can program three garage door openers uh, to those buttons right there. It has a built-in navigation system on this beautiful 12 inch touchscreen display. It also has Sirius XM AM, FM, radio, Bluetooth audio, as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with wireless Apple CarPlay integration. You have the dual zone climate control in the front here. You can also control your rear passenger air HVAC controls up here. You have your heated as well as your ventilated front passenger seats and a heated steering wheel. You have a wireless charging pad down here, two USB data ports, a CNN A, and a 12 volt outlet. You have a nice little shelf right here for your front seat passenger, as well as a locking glove compartment. The electronic gear shifter has this little button right here. Push in on that button and push forward. Puts it in reverse. And this gives you a good look at that intelligent all-around view monitoring system and how clear that backup camera is. To put it in the park, all you have to do is push in on that P button to put it in drive. Just pull straight back one time. And you can see now that's your front camera with that all around view monitoring system. We're going to put it in park now. Your electronic parking brake, your auto hold, your auto off, shut off right there. And then your drive mode selector here. So if I go to the right, it'll put us in eco mode, sport mode, and then tow mode. Go back to the middle, which is your standard or auto. If I go to the left, you got snow mode, mud rut, and sand. And then that button there in the middle, that's your downhill descent control. Lift up on this, you got a nice deep center console. You have your rain sensing wiper blades right here. Your cruise control with the Pro Pilot Assist and Intelligent Cruise Control systems being equipped in this vehicle with your phone control settings here. Your source audio control settings are right here with these arrows controlling this advanced driver display screen. Now, one of my favorite things about this 12 inch digital dash is that you can hit this menu button here and it populates this. Push in on OK to change meter view and it gives you more of a traditional look or you can go back to that setting and give you more of a contemporary look. The only thing that's really different is this middle section here on the contemporary look, you have a much larger middle screen there than you do with this one here. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. There it is right there. This vehicle also has a heads up display. I'm going to go to the settings menu here and show you just what all you can information you can have content was on the heads-up display so you have your turn by turn navigation your driver assist the speed limit sign your audio selection there and any sort of um, text message or telephone alerts will also populate right there for you go back to the contemporary look there and then right here's all your headlight controls so it does have your auto on headlights it also has your high beam assist as well so with this set on auto all you have to do is engage this one time and then it will do all the work for you another benefit of the platinum is it comes standard with the bose premium audio system so for more information on this 2024 nissan pathfinder platinum four-wheel drive contact me here at nissan of cookville once again my name is lance and i hope you have a great rest of your day